Marcus finds the two Bs in the trenches of Flanders. In preparation today, they join forces with the 3rd Battalion of the Royal Anglian Regiment in Colchester. But first, a reminder of scheming Blackadder at work. Oh, Mr. Blackadder! Leave me alone, Baldrick. If I'd wanted to talk to a vegetable, I'd have bought one at the market. <laughs> there you want this message? No, oh, thank you. God, I'm wasted here. It's no life for a man of noble blood being servant to a master with the intellect of a jugged walrus and all the social graces of a potty. <laughs> I'm wasted too. One, two, three. Cavalry barracks have seen nothing quite like it before. The 24-piece military band playing the familiar Blackadder theme music followed by Blackadder himself and 50 members of the 3rd Battalion of the Royal Anglians dressed for action in the First World War. The new series, which starts later this month, takes Captain Blackadder and Private Baldrick into the French trenches together. The BBC's wardrobe department was having to make a few present-day soldiers' haircuts fit history before filming could start for just 34 seconds of opening titles for the new series. I suppose it's the most real and most identifiable background and scenario that we've ever had for a series of The Black Adder, and it, it's, a, it's pretty easy to make jokes about something as horrible as the First World War and about, and not a hasten to add disrespectful jokes, but just, you know, satirical jokes. I mean, you know, making a point of, of all the extraordinarinesses and the, and the absurdities of that particular war. And how does poor old Baldrick cope this time? Uh, it's a major innovation. This time, Baldrick is a total, absolute, complete prat. Uh, no he, surprise. he plays the triangle, but unfortunately uh, he drops it before we get to his one note. I think the programmes generally are more consistently funny than they have been previously. And I don't think, you know, contrary to what some people appear to think, that, that, it's, it, that it's an inherently sick idea to make jokes about the First World War, because um, really the jokes are not of that ilk. Um, but anyway, I don't want to tell you too much about it, because you no doubt want to see it when it comes to BBC One at the end of September. Have you, within the cast, been surprised at the enormous success of Blackadder? I have, completely. Just while we've been in Colchester today, the bandsman said to me, here, one of our bandsmen is called Baldrick, and there was this little bloke, and he did a better impersonation of me than I can do. And then five minutes later, somebody came up to me and showed me their dog and said, oh, this dog's called Baldrick. This is very weird for me. To... It's sad, Tony. It's it very is sad. pathetic. And sadly, this is probably going to be the last series of Blackadder and Baldrick together. Yes, Rowan's retiring. No, I'm not, Tony. <laughs> the writers are retiring, unfortunately, <laughs> so we're going to be out of work for a few years. Such a nice look, how could one refuse but to watch the new series which will be on our screens, Blackadder 4, on September the 28th on BBC One. Good evening and tonight in Nationwide we're looking at a...